It is day 17 of Jackson's water crisis, and for thousands of people still without water in Jackson and Byram, there could be some light on the horizon. The flow is building back up with stronger pressure, and 12 News' Alex Love is live after speaking to the Public Works Director. Alex? Most definitely. So Dr. Charles Williams, the Public Works Director for the City of Jackson, announced that the water pressure from the treatment facility to the tanks is building back up, currently around 85 pounds per square inch coming out of the treatment facility. Officials believe that if they can keep this rate up and inch closer to 90 PSI levels, the system could be fully back up to running by the end of the weekend. Still, more than 20 confirmed water main breaks cutting off the flow have to be fixed. And Forest Hill, McClure Road, and Shannon Dill Drive are still without water. Dr. Williams says once this is over, over, studies and new tests need to be done to make sure it doesn't happen again. It's definitely possible and I think most highly likely it will happen again. I think that uh, having a peer review where you have connected uh, individuals who are experienced in this particular area, especially when you look at water treatment facilities, uh, wastewater uh, treatment facilities, and they come in and they do evaluations and they give you, uh, you know, uh, recommendations of improvement uh, that could be uh, applied toward your infrastructure. And in a letter to Governor Tate Reeves and legislators, M Mayor Shaquay and Tarla Mumba of Jackson is asking for $47 million in state and federal aid to offer permanent projects to fix the, the city's water infrastructure. For a full copy of that letter to read it, head over to our website, WJTV.com. Live in Jackson, Alex Love, 12 News.